From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather in today's top stories. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Well, it's been a wet one out there so far, and guess what? When you're coming home, it's going to be a messy commute. Make sure you give yourself plenty of time to get wherever you're going. We'll leave plenty of room in front of the cars because we've got the rain already. That's still going to turn into a wintry mix and then eventually into some snow. So roads are going to be very slippery, especially the further north you go. We'll even see some of that lake effect snow on Tuesday, maybe even a little bit on Wednesday as well as those temperatures stay in the 30s. And on Friday and Saturday, afternoon highs only in the 20s. Terrence Lee here with the Top Stories News 5 is following today. America is honoring the life of its 41st president. President George H.W. Bush will be moved to Washington, D.C. today. He will lie in state at the Capitol building starting later this afternoon. There will be a memorial service at the National Cathedral Wednesday. Then he will be taken back to Texas. He'll be laid to rest during a private ceremony that will be televised. Four people died in a crash overnight. Akron police are still investigating, but tell us the car went off the road on Goodyear Boulevard and went back across the road and slammed into a light pole before catching fire. The four people inside the car died at the scene. Their names have not yet been released. 76 East in Akron is closed. A semi crashed into the East Avenue Bridge. The truck was hauling a bulldozer when the bulldozer slammed into the overpass. The impact caused the bulldozer to fall off the semi. Then another car crashed into the bulldozer. Crews are working to clear the road right now. Hold on, hoping to have 76 East reopen before the busy afternoon rush. Check back later tonight for another update and download the News 5 app for breaking news and alerts. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.